Hey y'all, thanks for stopping in and welcome to my kitchen. I hope I'm in view, uh, <coughs> just doing something a little different. I, I'm going to make a uh, version of Sloppy Joe tonight. Um, I did an unboxing or a, 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 dollar, a, a haul video showing that I uh, had gotten can of manwich to go with. It's uh, basically a sloppy joe, kind of a chili sloppy joe taco burrito filling whatever kind of mix. Um, I usually use it for, I usually eat these sloppy joes on crackers. Uh, just sit and I'll eat a sleeve of crackers with, you know, putting a little uh, sloppy joe and and cheese on it, or uh, you know, throw it in a throw it in a taco shell or something to that effect. But anyway, uh, let's get down here. I'll run you through the ingredients. Let me move you on down and try to focus you all in a little bit, and try to keep you keep you in view. Uh, we're going to use some cumin. We'll use some chipotle powder. Hopefully that yep, that's still loose. Uh, some Mrs. Dash Table Blend. Some jalapeno powder. A little smoked paprika. End up using that whole bottle of ketchup. This is just Hunt's ketchup. I paid a dollar. <clears throat> paid a dollar. Pretty sure a dollar for it. Uh, like I said, I bought the the manwich bowl. I'll be splashing in some of this uh, Win Dixie original steak sauce. Just, you know, on, it's around the same as you know the A1 or whatnot. Uh, I really like the, the brand at Dollar Tree, the Blazing Blazing Saddle or whatever it is. But I was at the store and I needed that, so I got that at Win Dixie. Uh, use the Worc Worcestershire Worcestershire. Yeah, whatever that sauce is, um, I'm gonna need some more of that too. I'll use a little bit of mustard, a bit of garlic. I have my pepper and onion blend that I also get at Winn Dixie, and depending on how much is in there, I may actually end up adding some of these frozen peppers. And then uh, some apple cider vinegar with the mother because it's good the mother's good for you but you gotta get her excited you gotta get your mother excited so she does good things for you So I'm also going to add in I've got two packages about a pound I don't know I don't weigh it I buy the meat in bulk when, I, when it's on sale and then package it out to, you know, it looks like, well, it's about that size, and it just about fills that quart bag, and it's about a pound. Um, if I can buy a five-pound bag, and I get, you know, three pounds, and, you know, six decent-sized hamburgers, I'm happy. I don't, I'm, I'm not worried about the size at all, so. Um, I'm going to turn my pan on over here. There's no reason for y'all to hang around and watch me fry up meat. You've all seen people playing with their meat before. You know, you can poke your meat and fold your meat, but you really don't want to sit there and watch people playing with their meat. We're cooking their meat. So, uh, I'm going to turn this off, and when I get ready to... Well, of course, you know now I'm going to add all these seasonings and the peppers and onions and whatnot into the pan. Uh, the garlic and what have you, along with the hamburger, I'm going to brown it up. I'll bring you all back when I make up the actual sauce. So, uh, until then, I'll see you all in a little bit. Alrighty, y'all. We're back, like I said, to make up the sauce. Now, uh... <laughs> My uh, not daughter, who is a emergency room nurse, 
stopped in while I'm cooking this and she's giving me a ration of noise about cooking with salt my condition and doing this and doing that. It's like, darling, I don't have any salt. There's no salt on this counter. Take a look. You know, I'm eating veggies and, and she hung around while I strained all the juices and the grease and whatnot off the meat. So, anyway, let's see if I can get this taken care of here. Now, I don't know if I posted my Sloppy Joe. I think I may have. If I did, I'll leave a link below. Shoot, right now I'm not even sure if I've already said that. I'll get as much of that. Let's see if I can get you all over here now. There we go. Get that all in there like that. Hmm. A little bit of water in there. Pour that in. Take pour this ketchup in. Now I'm not using the new bottle just yet. This old one had a little over a half in it. So I'll put that in and see how that turns out. We'll put put it over here and let it sit and kind of strain in there for a minute or two. And we're going to take some of this here yellow hot dog mustard. This recipe, uh, the ketchup mustard vinegar recipe, comes from my daughter's ex-mother-in-law. And it's just, it's how she makes it up. Just ketchup, mustard, and a splash of vinegar. I need to add a little bit more of a splash to that. And she uses sugar for a sweetener. I'm going to use this blue agave because it's what I have thinned out. I generally use honey from my from my neighbor, but I'm actually out and he hasn't been around, so I can't get any from him. Here we go, we got that. Now, even though I strained this, there's still a lot of juices sitting down in there. So, I'm going to bring this up to a boil, and then I'm going to let it simmer for a long time. It'll probably simmer for an hour or so, get out some of that juices and whatnot. So, see, that's just way too thick at the moment. I may end up adding a little bit of ground up uh, tortilla chips, just plain ground, just plain corn tortilla chips. If I decide to do that, I'll show y'all. Um, Got to make them super fine though, otherwise they have a real pasty taste in the in the finished product. So, anyway, we're at that point. There's my sauce, the basic sauce. Um, so right now we've got peppers and onions and little bits of celery I think and uh, some ground beef some garlic uh, and then my, my sloppy joe sauce so that's where we're at now and I'll see
see y'all when we get back in a little bit. Is this thing recording? I think so. Hey y'all, we're back. Uh, while I was letting this stuff cook down, I went in and double checked on my on my channel. I have done a sloppy joe before. Actually, it wasn't all that long ago that I did it. So, me and my good old memory. Um, this one's different. It's you know not a whole lot different, but it is different. So, you know, I'll go ahead and post this. A little bit ago, well, at least a little bit ago for y'all. Um, it was almost an hour ago for me. I said something about uh, my not kid. Uh, the nurse being here and you know yakking at me. Well, I, I I don't know if anybody is familiar with that term. I think it may be something I actually thought up or came up with. But our not kids, and we have probably at least a half a dozen. There might there might be a, a, a dozen if he actually sat down and started counting them up. Uh, they're kids that grew up with my kids. Uh, you know, hung around here. They were they were always underfoot. They went with us on car trips. They went with you know, they, whatever. Uh, laughed, cried, and got disciplined, just like my own kids. Uh, we love them to death. And most of them call the call the Mrs. Mom. And they don't call me Dad. The one that did has uh, he passed away about a year ago. That one hit me hard, but. Um, that's neither here nor there. Uh, the term itself, it just means, I mean, they're my kids, but they're not DNA, you know? Uh, kind of like they're, kind of like they're, they're, their own spawn, they're brats. You know, they're, they're my grand brats too. Uh, the one that I was talking about, the nurse, we were just talking about her son's 18. Good God almighty, that makes me feel old. But, you know, some of the other ones are, they're, you know, they're the ages of my own grand, my, my, my DNA grandkids, um, you know, five, six, eight, nine years old. So uh, they all call me Pop. And, you know, it, we love them just like we love all the other ones. So anyway, uh, yeah, I was um, letting this all cook down. If you notice, it's uh, it's nice and thick. By the time it cools down, it should be even a little thicker, and I'll add some cheese or whatnot, and uh, you make that into make that into the mix. It'll be it'll be pretty good. Well, it'll be real good because I, if you notice, there's not quite as much in there as there used to be. That's because I'd already ate a bowl and a half full, which is some bread and butter. Uh, I was hungry. It was smelling good. I wasn't going to hang around and wait. So. Uh, yeah, it is what it is. But anyway, uh, thank y'all for taking the time out of your busy schedule, checking out what. Oh, excuse me, what I'm talk, what I'm, what I'm doing. It was good. It, it's kind of giving me the, the burpees. Um, hey, I really appreciate each and every one of y'all. I really do. Um, Give me a give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, push the like, leave me a comment. Especially if you subscribe. I mean, come on, people. If you don't if you don't tell me you subscribed, I hardly I don't, I'm not going to be able to figure it out. I don't I don't really know my channel all that well, so you know at least at least shout out, hey hey, I subscribed or something. Uh, so I know, so I go check out your channel if you got one. I'm not saying I'll subscribe. I'm not saying I'm going to stay subscribed, because, you know, you never know, but maybe I will. Anyway, thank you all. I really appreciate each and every one of you all. Until I see you next time, bye-bye.